How do you do keyword research for blog posts? How can you come up with, let's say a month, two months, maybe even six months of content based on keyword research? In today's video, I will share with you the best strategies I am using right now for keyword research for blog posts that bring in hundreds of thousands of visitors on a regular basis. So if we haven't met, hi, I'm Julie McCoy. I'm the president here at Content at Scale, and I've been creating SEO focused content for over a decade decade. It's been my primary marketing channel and it brings in customers on autopilot. I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing. And it all starts with keyword research. Once you have a website, products and services to sell, you, my friend, need to do your keyword research. Do both keyword research and blog generation. In fact, every step from keyword research all the way to a finished blog post published on your website, straight out of AI, saving you incredible amounts of time and costs. So let's get into it. So first of all, I want to share with you some of the benefits of doing keyword research for your blog posts. Blogs don't work if you think of them just as blogs. In fact, the word blog came from web log and it was much like a captain's log on a ship where you just entered your thoughts. If you're blogging like that, you'll never get anywhere. You have to think of the blog as an SEO traffic post, a piece of content, what WordPress calls a post that attracts your ideal buyer. That's what you want to achieve. If you achieve that, you're going to automate a steady stream of buyers to your website and it's beautiful. So we're looking at the continent scale website in one week here in February of 2024. You can see we had over 150,000 sessions, 113,000 users, 82,000 of which were new, lots of clicks and trial purchases from that. We get customers every single day on autopilot from this traffic and the large majority is organic search. We're ranking in Google. Another site I manage is contenthacker.com. About a year ago, we were around 4,000 uniques and we are now at over 40,000 users per month. And that is from organic search. This is a list of all the blog posts getting tons of traffic. We're using AI to develop these blog posts, go find the keywords and publish content consistently. Content Hacker gets around two to four new posts per week. The Continent Scale site gets up to 70 to 90 new posts per month. So we're doing a lot of content with our own undetectable AI writer, Continent Scales rank well. Okay, so let's get into the process of keyword research for your blogs. So the main thing you should think about is how to automate and streamline this whole thing. I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of cobbling together a bajillion tools a 1700 page SOP, and then you gotta go find and hire a writer or try to use ChatGPT on top of that. I love an all-in-one tool. That's actually why I adapted personally to Continent Scales rank well before even working with the team and joining the company, because it honestly saved me more hours than any other single AI tool saved me. In fact, in my SEO blogging process, from keyword research all the way to published blog, Continent scale saved me seven hours out of an eight hour process. So the first step for any good blog post is keyword research. And of course there's tools out there like SEMrush, AREFs that you could use, and then free tools like Uber suggest. I recommend avoiding free tools like the plague. They just don't give you accurate data and you need accurate data to target the right keywords. If you're targeting a keyword that has very high competition, but you were told by some keyword research tool that the competition was in fact low, you will never rank for that keyword. It's out of your league. The competition's too high. So the numbers around keywords, as I'll show you, are very, very important. Ahrefs and SEMrush are two amazing tools, but the cost is up there for just keyword research at over a hundred bucks per month, anywhere from 129 all the way up to $500 per month. Continent Scales Rankwell includes AI content generation, keyword research and topic clusters, topic reports, optimization audits, giving you everything you need, as I'll share with you, to complete that process of keyword research all the way to a published blog. And that starts at just 250 a month. With Ahrefs and SEMrush, two trusted sources of data, your cost starts at $129 a month and that does not include any content. You're still gonna have to go get the content. So Content at Scales Rankwell is a pretty serious price contender because it includes the actual blog post content along with the keyword research. And the keyword research tool is not just some free shoddy SEO tool. It's real technology that Content at Scales founder, Justin 
Justin McGill, who is a longtime SEO marketer, actually acquired or plugged into via API and pays a lot of money for to then build into the tool suite to give you great data. Okay, so now that you've seen some pricing, some details, let's jump into the process. Now, of course, ChatGPT exists, so we can't ignore it. We gotta include it in this video. The misnomer here is that most people think they can actually get their keywords from ChatGPT. And while ChatGPT is getting better and better with 4.5, you have memory now, and then GPT-5 possibly on the horizon, we have over a trillion parameters in this model as it exists. Whenever you ask it for keywords, it's gonna give you a good direction, but it's not going to give you the keywords you want to dial into. Why? Again, it's missing data and we need data to be able to pick the right keywords. So I would use ChatGPT to guide me around topics and give me ideas, but I wouldn't actually take action and go generate full blog posts for SEO based on the topics it suggests. We want to get our hands dirty with a real keyword research tool and get into the data. So Continent Scales Rankwell is very simple to use. You just create a project for a website and you are off to the races. We can start with doing keyword research in the tool. So let's say I was planning a month or maybe two, three months of content for Content Hacker, depending on how much content I want to create. Now a Content Hacker, I'm doing roughly 16 posts per month. And that's, as you saw, getting me close to 50,000 monthly uniques. And we're just snowballing and growing that every month with this content. So the first step is to go into the keyword research tool and look at the topics and keywords. My seed keyword is going to be blogging and I'm going to go find a keyword with low ranking difficulty to show you exactly what I would target. Now, whenever it comes to the seed keyword, you want to stay very clear and consistent to what it is you actually do and sell because that builds topical authority. If you go far left, north, east, or south into different topic areas entirely, you will never build topical authority and you'll actually detract from SEO and you'll create a void where you might not even get found in search because you weren't consistent with your topic. So if, for example, at Content Hacker, I sold content marketing as a service, my seed keyword would literally be content marketing. I sell an AI blogging course at Content Hacker, so my topics are all around AI and blogging. Remember that old marketing acronym, keep it simple, stupid. We often forget that simplicity is what works. And when it comes to SEO, keyword research especially, that is what works. So don't get too creative here, stay simple. So the beautiful thing about this tool is I can add these straight to my content planner. I can even generate a topic cluster if this is like a big keyword with a ton of search volume and a ton of topic opportunities that I want to go after. That would be a good candidate for a topic cluster. I can also go straight into creating content. So the first thing I'm going to do is sort by ranking difficulty. I want to look for the lowest hanging fruit to go after. And that's gonna depend on two things. Number one, relevance. If your keyword isn't relevant, forget it. It will never bring in ideal buyers. And number two, ranking difficulty. Monthly search volume is third to this because if I have a relevant keyword with very low ranking difficulty, I don't care if it only gets 10 to 20 to 30 searches a month because those are my ideal traffic and potential buyers right there. 10,000 window shoppers do you no good, but 10 ideal clients absolutely lift your bottom line. So that's how to think of keyword research for blog posts. Okay, so we wanna find relevant blogs. I don't like any of these keywords in the first page. This one is kind of intriguing, blogger templates 2022, but I would probably wanna change that to say 2024. And then again, ask myself, is this relevant? And it actually would be because my AI blogging course does have templates that people can follow. But let's see if we can find even more relevant keywords. So this is an interesting keyword, Shopify Plus pricing. It has 4,000 monthly search volume. Remember though, we're not gonna get too excited. We're gonna ask ourselves, is it relevant? And the ranking difficulty is so low. Anything below 40 is usually a win. If you don't have a domain with, let's say like 50, 70 DA, that's your domain authority. That's the age of your site, how much content it has, how many backlinks have been created for your site, how many people have linked to you and your content. When you're just starting out, you have a very low DA. So you want to find low ranking difficulty keywords that don't require a high domain authority to go after. But again, if you have a high DA, you can go after 40 and above in that difficulty score. This is an interesting keyword because you think of the person typing it. They're looking at pricing on the plus version of a software that could be a qualified buyer. If I did coaching and consulting and 
and my ideal clients used Shopify Plus, I would absolutely target that keyword. But alas, at Content Hacker, I don't do consulting anymore. I sell an AI blogging course. And while yes, it does touch Shopify because you can do great SEO content back to a Shopify store, we're gonna look for something even more relevant. Okay, so look at this, blog writing services, 980 monthly searches, a ranking difficulty of 24. It even has a very high cost per click, which is another good signal here. That means advertisers are paying almost $8 for a single click. So if we can win for this in organic SERPs, that's a high value click. So I can do two things here. I can add it straight to my planner or I can go ahead and generate a content piece straight from this keyword. So let's go ahead and click create content, throw that in the queue. I'm not gonna add anything. Rankwell is so fine tuned to create content that ranks in the top of Google. I don't need to do anything. If, in fact, if I add too much context here, I could steer it wrong. So I'm gonna let the AI do its job and just click write post now and throw that in the writing queue. And you're gonna see it here and it takes around five to seven minutes to generate that post. So let's go back to the keyword queue and see what else we can find. So this is a very interesting keyword, blogging for beginners. I would say that it's 100% targeted to my audience, especially the people that are going to buy my AI blogging course. So this is quite frankly, an amazing keyword with a difficulty of 33 below 40 and a search volume of over 4,000 visitors per month. So we're just gonna go ahead and click create content from that keyword as well, because I'm quite greedy and I want this content out ASAP on my site. <laughs> That's a great keyword. All right, so we could continue with that process, but I'm also gonna show you how to do topic clustering. This will help you generate lots of keywords and do the keyword research for your blogs all your blog posts, even up to six months worth of content in no time at all. Okay, so in the clustering tool, I've actually built 42 different clusters all around the keyword content marketing services because I wanna show you the power of what you can do, especially if you offer services in consulting, coaching, teaching, classes, anything like that. Or maybe you even do work for people and it could be AI assisted work. So our C keyword here when we're building out topic clusters should be 100% related to what we do. Now that does doesn't mean that the content we generate for it or the content Rankwell writes is going to be promotional. No, no, no. On the other hand, the content's going to be educational, inform the person typing in that keyword into Google with value and educate them on the questions they have related to that keyword. And then we'll draw them in with a CTA to our products and services. So with this seed keyword, which is super, super, super related to what we do. And for this example, I'm imagining that I sell services at Content Hacker because that just gets me a super targeted keyword. We have 15 topic clusters per page and three pages. That is 45 topics, my friends. And here's what I would do. I would actually add all of these to the planner and then go through and create content close to the publishing date. The reason you want to click this button, create content, when you're ready to publish is because that content is so fresh and real time, the minute it's generated, you wanna publish it pretty close to when you generate it. So I would add it to the planner and create a backlog and then have yourself or a VA or an AIO writer go in and generate content from the backlog you created in the planner when it's ready to go. The reason I would generate content for all of these keywords is quite simply topical authority. I wanna be found for content marketing services. That is what I do and sell. So I wouldn't second guess these keywords. I would build topical authority on all of them. Now inside Rankwell, in the integrations for each project, AKA website, I can actually download the WordPress plugin, upload that into my site and automate the entire process of publishing content. Even my Yoast or Rank Math SEO plugin, Content at Scales Rankwell will automatically fill all of that out. So all I need to touch is this single tool. Again, eliminating so many different tabs, tools, and processes. I heard from an SEO who recently learned about Rankwell, and he's like, you mean I could automate my 17 point SOP? And it included things like write the meta description for Yoast. Yes, you can fully automate all of that. So over here in the post tab, whenever the post is generated, you have your WordPress plugin installed. This is talking to your website. You can go up here and you can hit publish and it will publish straight to your website. And from this editor, you can work on the content, add in anything specific, check your links and sources, add in some images, add in a link to your site. By the way, you can automate the CTAs, the calls to action, 
right here in the project settings, we have post automations. We can turn on or off the click to tweets, the table of contents. We can even change the post statuses as they correspond to our WordPress site. And here's the magic of the call to action. So I can write one call to action that reflects what it is I want to sell. And that call to action gets automatically placed into every single blog post for me. That's pretty freaking amazing. So that means that this little blog ending right here, that's automated every single time. And it includes the links to the two items I want to sell the most of. And if you want to make this more focused, it could be a single lead magnet, a single link to booking a call, whatever it is that drives them to take that next step forward with you. And then for us, we're adding an image and that image directly links to the sales page. We want people to click on and you can see this. This is what it looks like live on my site. So the content is beautiful and we really did not do that much to publish that content. The additional tabs inside Rankwell's editor gives us a deep dive look into where this content came from. The content is always original. You can check that with the plagiarism scan. You can see all of the links and the top ranking content, including the FAQs. This is according to FAQ schema. So this will rank in the people also ask section in Google. This gives you a lot of insights into how this content is developed. You can see the plagiarism scan came back zero, absolutely no plagiarism found. This is an API called a copyscape. So it's doing a real check to see if any of this content is duplicate and it's not, it's all original. You can also run an AI detection scan and see if it passes as human like content, which it does. So there you go in a nutshell, keyword research for your blog post, all the way from that seed keyword idea to how to qualify it, how to think about how to get ideal buyers to your website every day, and then how to generate content consistently without any pain. It's amazing that we live in the age of AI and we have tools like Content at Scales Rankwell that allow us to do this SEO blogging in such an efficient manner. To learn more about Content at Scale, go to contentatscale.ai. There's a $15 seven day experience you can jump into to really test the waters and generate a full content piece. And for more educational content pieces like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope this helped you drop any questions you have in the comments, I'll be happy to get back to you and I'll see you on Content at Scale right here on the channel. Thanks for watching.